Hey everybody, good morning, Christian here, and I'm gonna show you real quick how to deploy your Notion site to a custom domain using a really cool project called Fruition. So just a quick heads up, uh, this project first caught my eye because it uses Cloudflare workers, and I do work as the developer advocate for Cloudflare workers, so frankly, I was kind of surprised that I hadn't uh, tried this out yet. Something I want to talk about more on this channel is uh, I'm a really big Notion fan recently. I've started using Notion for everything. And so when I saw someone talking about this project online, I was like, oh, this is like exactly the kind of thing that I should be deploying. So um, in this uh, video, I'm going to try and make it really quick. I already have a Notion page set up. And what I'm going to do is use Fruition to deploy it uh, to a custom domain. <music> So the gist of this is that Fruition is a toolkit for deploying Notion pages as a custom domain. Um, you can find it at fruitionsite.com. I'll put it in the description. And the setup process here is supposed to be really quick. Um, basically, you set up a Cloudflare account, which I already have because um, I work on workers. And then you generate a script and then paste it into the Cloudflare workers editor. So there's a lot of really cool features here. You know, custom domains is the main one. Um, the thing here that they call pretty URLs, and the gist of that is that basically Notion's URLs have this like unique ID on them. So it's not slash about, it's like slash about dash one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's this really long URL. Fruition um, basically fixes that into a nicer looking URL. You also get dark mode and custom fonts and custom JavaScript. So you can add things like analytics, you can add custom Google fonts and stuff like that. Um, I think the biggest positive to all of this is that Notion as a editor or especially as a site editor is really impressive. You can basically just type whatever. It's a what you see is what you get kind of editor. And so any of the very, very cool Notion stuff that you see on YouTube, you know, where people make their own custom portfolios or things like that, you can now um, add custom domains to it and have it just live on your own website. So right now I have signalnerve.com, which is my website. And uh, it's really kind of janky right now. It literally just pulls from GitHub using the GitHub readme. It goes and gets that file and then turns it into HTML. You can see it looks uh, not great. And so what I'm gonna do is I've actually already removed the code that makes this work, which also uses Cloudflare workers. It's my own custom thing that I wrote. So um, I need to now go back and add fruition to this, uh, to this website. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here and I'm just gonna look at these instructions. So prerequisite, so I need to enable public access on my desired pages through Notion's share menu and allow search engines, which is optional. So I'll just pull up Notion here. You can see I use Notion myself. I have this big sidebar, I have this dashboard where I have all of the stuff that I do inside of Notion. I've made this separate page, which is just called Christian Freeman, which is gonna be the landing page that I'm actually gonna use. I'll go to share here and I'll say share to web. And I'll also turn on uh, search engine indexing. Oh, it looks like actually that's a team feature. Okay, well, I don't need it to be indexed right now, though I probably should upgrade to a team plan. I use this a lot. Okay, so now I have that sharing enabled. Um, let's see, set up your Cloudflare account. Okay, well, I already have all of this set up. So if you don't have this, basically you would create a Cloudflare account you would add your custom domain, and then you would do your DNS record stuff, so pointing your custom domain um, and the name servers to Cloudflare, all of which I already have done with signalnerve.com. And so the last thing I wanna do here is just make sure that I have the right configuration. So in my Cloudflare dash, I'm gonna go to signalnerve.com, and then I wanna go to uh, my SSL TLS, make sure that this is set to flexible, which it is. I'll also come to the Edge Certificates page here and I wanna make sure that always use HTTPS is on. And then the last thing here is going to be going to your auto minify and your broadly settings and turning those on if you want. So it basically will auto minify any JavaScript, HTML, CSS, it'll just make your site faster. Um, this is optional, you don't have to do it. Once all of that is set up, you can press done. Again, I already have this set up. So 
What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna skip again all of these workers instructions because I've already done them. This is basically what we call claiming a workers.dev subdomain. So every user on workers gets, you know, signalnerve.workers.dev or christian.workers.dev. I already have that claimed. I already have signalnerve.workers.dev. Um, you can pick your workers plan. Uh, the free plan works here, um, which I have as well. And now what we can do is finally get to the real instructions here. So I'm gonna click on Cloudflare here at the top left. I'm gonna go to workers, and then I'm going to create a new worker. And now I'm here in the editor. So now it's time to actually create the script that we'll use to run our project. So I'm gonna say customize and generate the script. My domain is going to be signalnerve.com. And then my Notion URL is going to be my uh, page that I set up earlier. So I'll come back to Notion and I'll say copy link. Um, so let's see, toggle style and script settings so I can set a custom title, description, Google font, custom scripts. I can add a pretty link, which says like link this page slash about to something else. I'm gonna leave that for now. This is literally just a one pager. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say copy the code. Okay, so this is copied. The next thing I need to do is paste the script into Cloudflare. So that should be really easy. Um, I'm just gonna come here, I'm gonna select all this code and I'm gonna replace it with the code that was copied. So it's almost 300 lines of code here. Um, what I'm gonna do is say save and deploy. Actually, I wanna give it a better name. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click up here in this little tiny little input and I'm gonna call it, um, let's see, I'll call it signal nerve notion. So I'm just gonna give it that name and then say save and deploy. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is actually um, set this up to a custom domain. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna come back to the dashboard here by clicking Cloudflare. I'm gonna go to signalnerve.com and then I'm gonna click the workers tab here. And now I just need to say, when you hit this specific route, load this associated worker. So I'm gonna say signalnerve.com and then I'm going to add a worker here to, I'll scroll down through all of my workers I have set up, to Signal Nerve Notion. So I'll click save here, and then if I go to signalnerve.com, so one thing you might run into if you think you know how to set it up and don't quite follow the instructions like I just did, is that your site doesn't seem to work when you try and set up your custom route. And so what I noticed here is when I set up the route, I had used signalnerve.com slash, and it didn't resolve to anything and I tried to go to signalnerve.com. You can see that here and I just opened a new tab and went to signalnerve.com up there. It's just hanging and hanging and hanging and in about 20 seconds or so, it's gonna give me a error where it says it can't reach uh, whatever I was supposed to be getting back here as a response. So if you run into that issue as a little bit of troubleshooting, the reason here is that you actually need to add this asterisk at the end of the route. This is what we call a wildcard or dynamic pattern. And what it does is it says, don't only match signalnerve.com, also match any other path after that. So signalnerve.com slash star, any other paths should also go to this signal nerve notion worker. Okay, and you can see what happens here is right now it's giving me an error 522. It's trying to connect to this host here, signalnerve.com, and doesn't seem to be working. So again, the reason for that is that right now you can see it's going to signalnerve.com slash C1998. So this big string, that's my Notion page ID. And it's trying to go get that, and, but it's saying uh, this isn't, there's no worker attached to this, right? Because what it has a worker attached to right now is just this signalnerve.com. So once I've added that route and I refresh here, you can see that it actually says retry for a live version because it knows the site was offline. If I refresh here now, it goes to signaler.com. It actually also goes to slash C199, whatever that ID was, and then removes it using that pretty URL feature that Notion has. Okay, so now signalnerve.com renders this page, right? So I can have this little toggle here. I have dark mode on my site, which is cool. But I think the coolest thing in this is that I can actually open up Notion. So here on the left-hand side, I have signalnerve.com. And then on this side, I have my actual Notion, uh, you know, document here. And I can do something like, you know, signal nerve on Twitter. I can add that. And then if I refresh the page here, 
<laughs> it actually didn't catch the whole update. Let me refresh it one more time. Now you can see it's it's basically live updating, right? So that's a little bit of a cautionary thing maybe to be aware of is that it literally just live updates based on whatever you're writing. So with that, we have custom domains using fruition. Uh, there was a little kink that was a thing that I caused. Uh, I probably just know too much about workers, so I make assumptions that I think I know what I'm doing when I don't, uh, when I need to kind of slow down. But overall, I'm really impressed with the solution. It's open source, it's free. You can add as many pages to this as you want. You could build an entire portfolio or an entire freelance project um, using Notion, using Fruition. It's a, it's a really neat idea. I think it's really cool. And um, if I can put on like my developer advocate hat for a bit, it's why something like Workers is really cool. It's why I pick it up for projects like this is because you can do things like really simple URL rendering. You can just go get something like a Notion page or something like that. And you have all these powerful full semantics for updating responses and things like that. So you can have something like this really simple at the end of it. So um, I'll put a link in the description to Fruition if you wanna try it out. I'm sure there's other things I'll do here. Um, for instance, I was thinking a cool thing would be uh, like setting up a list of projects that I've worked on recently, which I could do using a Notion table. Like I said, I'm really big into Notion right now. And so I use it for my own projects all the time. I can imagine what it would look like here. And maybe in a future video, I'll take a look at that. So if you set up a custom domain with Notion, let me know in the comments. I'd love to see your Notion pages. And uh, like I said, I'll put a link to all of this stuff in the description. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video.